Today I just wanted to show you a simple little trick um, for frogging. This trick is particularly helpful when you're frogging something like in a stockinette stitch. You can do it like for instance because you, whatever you were knitting, you knitted it too long or perhaps because you made a mistake. This one I did deliberately for the purpose of the video, obviously. Uh, what I would ask you to use is either a double pointed needle, if it's something, whatever you're frogging is rather short, you can just use a double pointed needle. If whatever you're knitting is a lot longer, for instance it's for a sweater or something, you can just use some uh, circular needles. There we are. Or you can use several double pointed needles if you're just careful. So just going to use, I do recommend using some, uh, a needle that is a lot thinner than the original needle size that you're using at the moment. You can just use another one if you have them. You can use the other one that I use to knit this for instance. Um, but I just find it easy to manipulate um, with a thinner one. You have to switch to the other needle at the end anyway. So. What we do, say you've made a mistake here, or you actually only wanted to knit it to here, and you decide, I want to frog it to here. You can, of course, just slide the needle out, this one, and just start ripping. But you'll have to constantly reass reassess, um, have I gone down enough, did I go too far, and then you have to pick up all the loose stitches. So I just find using this technique a little easier, especially with stockinette, because everything is just so visible. So you just say you want it to go to here, just go to the side. So here is your first stitch, and you just pick up the right leg. Yeah, and you just go to the second stitch and pick up the right leg, right one the right one. You can of course also choose just to pick up the, the left leg if on this side the left leg was more visible. You can also pick up the left leg. The only thing I would recommend is that you're just consistent. Always picking up the left leg or always picking up the right leg. Or switch it up, whatever you want to do. You do you. Make sure you stay on the same row. If it's sometimes a little bit hard to see, just stretch it out a little bit. This is the more line, align more. There we are. Let's see. I'm looking in the camera and to the side, so it's difficult for me to see like this. There we are. And the last one over here. So then, when you've done that, it'll look like this. You can just double check. Are all the stitches, are all the legs are lifted from the same row? It seems so. There we are. And then all you have to do now is just slide this one out. You can start ripping or frogging. It's an annoying thing to do, but it's something every single knitter has to do at some point. You can be the first time knitter. You can be in a knitter like me. I've been knitting for 15 years. I have to frog something almost every week. So there we have it. All aligned very neatly, very quickly. And then you just take your original size needle. Okay, so the yarn is on this side, so you just switch it. And then you just slip them back on to the original size needle. Very easy. So I hope that tutorial was helpful. Um, if so, please hit that like button, really help me out. You can always subscribe to my channel if you want, or you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is uh, at Jane James Knitwear. Bye.